Technology can be a powerful tool for transforming learning. It did help the globe find new tools and pathways to connect, invent and share creativity in mass coverage. Reinvent our approaches to ideas and collaboration. Shrink long-standing equity and accessibility gaps. One of the pioneers and main pillars that played a major role in developing the tech sector is Steve Jobs. Stephen Paul Jobs was born on February 24, 1955, to Abdul Fattah Jandali and Joan Schiebel, and was adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs because Joan's parents were not happy that their daughter was dating a Muslim. Schiebel's father threatened to cut her off completely if she continued the relationship. Paul and Clara adopted Jobs' sister Patricia in 1957, and by 1959, the family had moved to the Montaloma neighborhood in Mountain View, California. It was during this time that Paul built a workbench in his garage for his son in order to pass along his love of mechanics. Jobs admired his father's craftsmanship because he knew how to build anything. By the time he was 10, Jobs was deeply involved in electronics and befriended many of the engineers who lived in the neighborhood. He had difficulty making friends with children his own age. He was seen by his classmates as a loner. Jobs had difficulty functioning in a traditional classroom tended to resist authority figures, frequently misbehaved and was suspended a few times. Clara had taught him how to read as a toddler, and Jobs stated that he was pretty bored in school. Jobs would later credit his 4th grade teacher Imogene T.D. Hale for turning him around. She taught an advanced 4th grade class and it took her about a month to get hip to his situation. She bribed him into learning, she would say, I really want you to finish this workbook. I'll give you 5 bucks if you finish it. That really kindled the passion in him for learning things and stated that he learned more that year than he thinks he learned in any other year in school. Jobs skipped the 5th grade and transferred to the 6th grade at Crittenden Middle School in Mountain View, where he became a socially awkward loner. Jobs was often bullied at Crittenden Middle, and in the middle of the 7th grade he gave his parents an ultimatum. They had to either take him out of Crittenden, or he would drop out of school. Though the Jobs family was not well off, they used all their savings in 1967 to buy a new home, allowing Jobs to change schools. The new house was in Cupertino School District, California, and was embedded in an environment that was even more heavily populated with engineering families than the Mountain View area. This house was declared a historic site in 2013, as it was the first site for Apple Computer. Jobs attended the nearby Homestead High School, which had strong ties to Silicon Valley. He began his first year there in late 1968, where he met Steve Wozniak, who would later be Apple's first employee. By his senior year in late 1971, he was taking freshman English class at Stanford and working on a Homestead underground film project. Around that time, Wozniak designed a low-cost digital blue box to generate the necessary tones to manipulate the telephone network, allowing free long-distance calls. Jobs decided then to sell them and split the profits with Wozniak. The clandestine sales of the illegal blue boxes went well, and perhaps planted the seed in Jobs' mind that electronics could be both fun and profitable. In a 1994 interview, Jobs recalled that it took six months for him and Wozniak to figure out how to build the blue boxes. Jobs later reflected that if it had not been for Wozniak's blue boxes, there wouldn't have been an apple. He says it showed them that they could take on large companies and beat them. He enrolled at the expensive Reed College in Oregon. He insisted on applying only to Reed, although it was an expensive school that Paul and Clara could ill afford. After just one semester, Jobs dropped out of Reed College without telling his parents. Jobs later explained that he decided to drop out because he did not want to spend his parents' money on an education that seemed meaningless to him. In 1974, Jobs and one of his Reed friends traveled to India searching for spiritual enlightenment. After seven months, Jobs left India back to the US with his head shaved, wearing traditional Indian clothing. During this time, Jobs experimented with psychedelics later calling his LSD experiences one of the two or three most important things he had done in his life. By March 1976, Wozniak completed the basic design of the Apple I computer and showed it to Jobs, who suggested that they sell it. Wozniak was at first skeptical of the idea, but later agreed. In April of the same year, Jobs, Wozniak and administrative overseer Ronald Wayne founded Apple Computer Company. Wozniak and Jobs decided on the name Apple after Jobs returned from the All One Farm commune in Oregon and told Wozniak about his time spent in the farm's Apple orchard. To raise the money, they needed to build the first batch of the circuit boards. 
Wozniak sold his HP scientific calculator and Jobs sold his Volkswagen van. Later that year, computer retailer Paul Terrell purchased 50 fully assembled units of the Apple One from them for 500 each. Eventually, about 200 Apple One computers were produced in total. Apple Computer was incorporated on January the 3rd, 1977, without Wayne who had left and sold his share of the company back to Jobs and Wozniak for $800. Only 12 days after having co-founded Apple, multi-millionaire Mike Mercola provided essential business expertise and funding of $250,000 to Jobs and Wozniak during the incorporation of Apple. During the first five years of operations, revenues grow exponentially, doubling about every four months. Between September 1977 and September 1980, yearly sales grow from $775,000 to $118 million, an average annual growth rate of 533%. Jobs was immediately convinced that all future computers would use a graphical user interface, and the development of a GUI began for the Apple Lisa. In 1982, however, he was pushed from the Lisa team due to infighting. Jobs then took over Wozniak's and Raskin's low-cost computer projects, the Macintosh, and redefined it as a graphical system, cheaper and faster than Lisa. In 1983, Lisa became the first personal computer sold to the public with a GUI, but was a commercial failure due to its high price and limited software titles. So in 1985, it would be repurposed as the high-end Macintosh, and discontinued in its second year. On December 12, 1980, Apple went public selling 4.6 million shares at $22 per share, generating over $100 million, which was more capital than any IPO since Ford Motor Company in 1956. By the end of the day, 300 millionaires were created, from a stock price of $29 per share and a market cap of $1.778 billion. On September 17, 1985, Jobs submitted a letter of resignation to the Apple board after some software disagreements with John Scully, Apple CEO back in 1983. Jobs learned John Scully away from Pepsi Cola to serve as Apple CEO, asking, do you want to spend the rest of your life selling sugared water or do you want a chance to change the world? Five additional senior Apple employees also resigned and joined Jobs in his new venture. Next workstations were first released in 1990 and priced at $9,999. The English computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web in 1990 at CERN, Switzerland, making use of a next computer. The company reported its first yearly profit of $1.3 million in 1994. In 1996, Apple announced that it would buy Next for $427 million. The deal was finalized in February 1997, bringing Jobs back to the company he had co-founded. Jobs became de facto chief after then-CEO Jill Emilio was ousted in July 1997. He was formally named interim chief executive in September, and then permanent CEO of Apple and Pixar Studios. After years of speculation, Jobs officially unveiled the iPhone at January 2007's Macworld Expo. He combined the music features of the iPod with a slick responsive touchscreen that didn't need a stylus, unlike most mobile devices at the time and the iPhone Safari was the first full-featured web browser on a phone. The iPhone was a massive hit, taking only 74 days from its August 2007 launch to sell a million units. Jobs stepped down as Apple CEO on August 24, 2011, accepting a role as chairman after his pancreatic cancer relapsed. Not long after, Jobs died on October 5, 2011, working for Apple until the day before his death. That night, the flags at Apple flew at half mass. At the time of his death, his net worth was $10.2 billion. Tim Cook got the nod as a full-time CEO after Jobs' resignation before his death. Apple has continued to grow under the big push of Jobs and the flow steering of Tim Cook, becoming the first one trillion company in American history. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications for more interesting stories and facts. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.